20, 10. Hey and welcome back to Sim Aviator guys today I'm gonna show you how to install the drivers for the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant for x Plane 11 and obviously you're not gonna need drivers for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 because it's gonna be the support is gonna be there once the next update comes out so you don't need drivers for Microsoft Flight Simulator if you are on x Plane 11 this is exactly how we're gonna do this. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, we are here on the Honeycomb Aeronautical's website. That's flyhoneycomb.com. Um, just go down, look for where it says Bravo Throttle Quadrant. Click on more info. And then the next thing you gotta do is scroll down until you find download Honeycomb software. You can go ahead, click view downloads. And then you'll be on another screen, just scroll down. And as you can see, it says for Microsoft Flight Simulator, no download is required. Update 7 will feature LED light functions. And that's for FSX. So if you're on FSX, you gotta download this one. And if you're using P3D, then you gotta be on this one right here, depending on what version you're using right now. And if you're on X-Plane like I am, then you just gotta select what Windows or Mac you're using. Um, so I use Windows, so let's go ahead and hit download now and go ahead and save the file and I basically have the same file already downloaded here but once you save it and unzip it this is what you'll get. Let's go ahead and go to the folder and see how we can go ahead with the installation. Alright as you guys can see we are in this folder right now. Um, all we gotta do is look for the setup.exe file. Hit yes and then you'll see this beautiful honeycomb logo come up and then this says the setup will guide you through the installation of this add-on so hit next accept the terms oops and hit next again and then it will ask you where your xplane 11 folder is so just go to browse wherever your xplane folder is select that and then hit next now i already have this installed so I'm not going to do this, but I'll show you what happens after this installation is completed. So what you'll see is the Honeycomb Configurator that is installed on your desktop and everything else is in your plugins folder. So I'm going to quickly show that as well. And once you open this up, um, I haven't exactly figured out how to use this, but you can still configure your aircraft inside of your x folder so but then you have some here create new profile so you could save different profiles and you could activate delete profiles and you know all the stuff like that and there's all explain variable list as well and you can play around with the data refs and the commands there but and this one is going to be your profile window but that is that is what this is so for example it shows you what the heading button does and uh, you, you gotta add the conditions you know play around with that I still don't have it figured out but as soon as I figure this out I will be sure to make a video about that as well um, so these are the different things you can do and then hit apply changes and everything should be done and if you hit go to LED mode then you can have what the LEDs do so I haven't done that yet so that's for another video uh, but that's good so far all right so as you can see the next thing we are at is the Explain 11 installation folder you can go to resources plugins and then you will see something called this AFC bridge here so this is the folder that your honeycomb drivers are in it's called AFC bridge remember that and this is your configurator.exe that we just saw right here so if you don't see it this is where you can find it and then play around with that but this is pretty much it guys once you are inside explain your throttle quadrant should light up um, your gear lever should show up obviously you're still gonna have to play around with the buttons but your knobs the two knobs the autopilot selector and the rotator knob they will be programmed to detect those specific parts of the plane and it will work straight away but the other buttons heading nav all those buttons the switches the gear levers and everything else you'll still have to do it from inside the X plane well, I hope this video helped you guys. If you did enjoy, hit that like button. And again, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 250 subs. 
We do flight simulator streams every single week as well, so I would really appreciate if you do end up subscribing. But that's gonna be it from Sim Aviator. Bye bye, take care, and stay safe, everyone. I'll see you on the next one.